Star Trek Online Unraveled Season Content Update. Hello everybody. In this Let's Play, I will be going and playing the new mission featured episode called Wish Upon a Star. I just want to get right into it, but before we do, if you are not subscribed, consider that. I will have more content in Star Trek Online as content is released. I still have the TFO to play as well as the new patrols in this new season content update. But today is Wish Upon a Star playthrough. Now before I begin, just really quick, I just want to quickly show you my character I'll be playing on. This is Ensign Ricky. He is an engineering character. I have done a playthrough of this character on the channel. Check out the full playthrough of that. You can also check out my introduction video to this new season update called Unraveled. And also a news video is on my channel that goes over what is uh, all new about this new update. I will also be flying today the Oddly Oddy. This is an Odyssey operations cruiser. That's right, the USS Enterprise F. NCC 1701F. Now this is the original Odyssey cruiser that they released in Star Trek Online. It was a tier 5 ship at the time, still is, and I have upgraded this to tier 5U. So this is not one of the newer refit or um, refreshed ones. This is the original older one and uh, I thought this ship was very fitting to play in today's episode. Uh, it just somehow seems fitting to be flying the Odyssey. So this is my Oddly Oddy. It is a Tier 5 U. Let's get to playing Wish Upon a Star. Wish Upon a Star assists Admiral Kumarke of the Lucari on a scientific operation to rejuvenate the Nuk uh, Nakul Star. The Lucari have been working on a project in the Nakul system. The initial efforts have been quite promising. and They're about to move to the next phase. If successful, the damage to the star in that system will be repaired. Admiral Kumarke has requested our assistance, and I'd like you to provide it. She's sent specifications for a device called the Stellar Rejuvenator. Have your engineer install it on your ship before you disembark. You'll be using it as part of the Lucari efforts there. Report to Admiral Kumarke in the Nakul system when you're ready. Quinn out. Accept mission. Close. Go. We're just going to transwarp straight there so we can get this show on the road. It's been a while since I've shown this character, or um, played on this character, but he's well equipped, honestly. So he'll be good in ground or space. Even though it's a tier 5 U ship, it's still extremely powerful. You don't really need, a, need a tier 6. Chronicle 36. We are about to commence work on a most important operation an attempt to revitalize the Nakul Star. One of the finest vessels in the Alliance is joining our efforts today. Hey, it's me. May the wisdom of Lucar guide us to success. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you for being a part of this. Yeah, we're ready to assist you, and I believe congratulations are in order, Admiral. Thank you. It's an honor I fully intend to live up to. More about that later. We've got a job to do. Before we begin, I should warn you, the Nakul are somewhat anxious about this procedure and any complications that might arise. Yes, understandable. The health of their star is at risk. Indeed. But we have earned our trust over the months of research here, and I intend to honor that today. Understood. Let's Heading get started. Heading to the primary coordinates now. So, All here hands, we go. Prepare to deploy the stellar rejuvenators. Here we go. It's time yes. to heal a star. Enterprise F in all of her glory. Odyssey class. I still think it's a beautiful ship. Absolutely beautiful. Follows what I think is great lineage from the uh, Enterprise E. Sovereign. We again. One hopes your efforts here today will have a better outcome than your previous attempt to repair our star. We'll if see. I may interrupt. Representative, we are indeed ready to begin the process. With your blessing, of course. Very well. Our fleet is standing by to assist you if necessary. Thank you, Representative. I like how his name is just Representative. Oh, I guess it's Katek. Here she says, thank you, Representative. The time has come. Admiral Kumarte, 
I hereby what the heck was that? You and your <laughs> associates to proceed. They had a weird your audio thing there. A new dawn for the not cool people. It's like they had to uh, just re-record him saying that name, so it didn't quite match. Ready when you are, Admiral. Oddly oddy, out. All right. Now I know as soon as I activate this thing, probably all crap is going to go loose here. Getting some strange readings. <laughs> Try adjusting your cohesion beam frequency. Oh, I like the visual here that it's giving. Shooting these beams into the star. That's very cool looking. We're reading several disruptions in the cohesion beam. Originating 100,000 kilometers from the star's surface. Try to compensate. Any ideas, Admiral? Stellar activity in the area may be causing the fluctuations. Adjust your course to the following coordinates. Let's see if the situation improves there. We're on it. Ensign Ricky out. We tighten formation. Our beams may reinforce one another. Agreed. Move to the following coordinates. So I imagine the Tholians will show up here at some point. Uh, they are probably interfering with everything, as usual. Yes, I just, I really do love this ship. A lot of people have problems with this um, separated part. I like Deploy it. From there. Once you've redeployed, you'll need to adjust the frequency again. And in fact, if you look in the, um, you know, blueprints and all for this ship, uh, I think there is actually like a shuttle bay right in there. So it's really cool because it's, I don't know, I just like that idea. It's, I, don't know, I like it. All right, let's go. Adjust frequency again. Initiate stellar modulation sequence on my mark. Mark. Modulation initiated. I love the visuals here, Energy by the way. Star looks great. Reading I like the way the, the beams core. are coming out. Abort! All ships abort now! And uh, well, of course we've messed things up again. The sun's gonna blow up. What's heck? What's gonna happen? <laughs> We're always doing these things. We're always messing up the Nakul. Now, wonder why the Nakul are mad at us all the time. That was far too close for comfort. What happened, Admiral? I detected a feedback loop forming. If we hadn't shut down when we did, a stellar flare would have backfired along the cohesion beam. The damage to us and the Nakul would have been. Yeah. They're probably not too happy about that. Receiving a hell from the representative Kadek. Race for Impact Kadek. Sounds like a Stargate name. Are you mad? Do you think we will sit by idly while your incompetence puts our star at risk once more? Explain yourself immediately. Actually, it makes a lot of sense if he's a go old. <laughs> there was an issue, and we are investigating the cause. I suggest you do so quickly and with positive results. Rest assured, if you do not save our star, then you can be certain that our fleet will avenge it. Yeah, okay. Taken a look Got at it. Our data You're angry. The incident, You're always I angry. I believe I've found something. Let's have it. I've discovered where the cohesion beam started to suffer interference. The coordinates are 0.4 AU from the star. Let's take a look-see. Full impulse. Oh, I thought we were going to uh, drive. I was about to say, we're going to drive there ourselves. No, it's going to cutscene us to it. Right. I believe it's time to get to the bottom of this before the administrator loses his patience. Agreed. Anything out of the ordinary on sensors. Some of the asteroids nearby are emitting an unusual level of energy. However, their composition is making long-range scans ineffective. Time for a closer look. Strange. Take us in. The asteroid is emitting highly energized particles, like the tail of a comet. It's marked as an asteroid in the stellar registry. No mention of reactive properties. And so, yet, same asteroid, it's reacting. Behavior. Sounds like we're on the right track. Scan asteroid. The asteroid is emitting energy in a pattern similar to that of the star earlier. Whatever caused that issue may be in effect here as well. We are still unable to conduct a deep scan of the asteroid, however. If we can devise a way to do so, I believe we will find more answers. Recommendations. There is a Blow it up. human expression. You cannot prepare an omelette without cracking a few eggs. Or in this case, asteroids. 
If we fracture one of them with our weapons, we will expose the core and obtain the deep scan results we seek. All right, tactical target asteroid and fire, because that never went badly. Yep. I believe we've cracked the egg just a bit too hard. There's not much left to study. Well, why did we do that? Fortunately, there are more targets available. We should try again, although with considerably lower weapon settings. Hey, I didn't buff a single thing. What do you mean? That's about as low as energy as I can get. <laughs> Agreed, Tactical. Make the adjustments. The cool have tagged the next asteroid for future mining operations. Under the circumstances, I believe they'll agree that its loss will be acceptable. I certainly hope so, ma'am. Love the I'd way the star looks. Not to incur their wrath today. All right, can we do this one without blowing it up? Well, there goes the torpedo, so no, I guess not. <laughs> Oh, I guess we can. That did the trick. Scanning our little cracked egg now. Hmm. The core is decaying into ionized gases. Quite similar to what is happening to the interior of the Nakul star. Interesting. What are our next what are our next I'd steps? I'd like to crack another egg and conduct a scan of it. Before moving on to making the omelet, so to speak. All right, the joke is the is joke right, is running the thin now. The radiation signature present will match, bringing us another step closer to understanding this phenomenon. Get ready to crack another egg. Remember, uh, we do not want to pull. They did it. They are doing it. The cool have detected our weapons fire, Admiral. They are understandably curious. Up here on our We've Asteroid successfully fractured. Begin your scans now. All right, let's scan this one. It's a match. Very good, oh, lots yeah. of mini games in this one. As I suspected, all of the asteroids we've studied have matching radiation signatures. Time to make an oh come on. Yet. There are some reactive gas I love omelets, but the if joke. If their radiation yeah. pattern matches those present in the asteroid cores, we can triangulate the origin point and locate the source. Take us closer to the gas clouds. Admiral, the Nikul representative is concerned about the destruction of valuable asteroids. Yeah, we're just like, first we destroy their star. That the alliance will compensate the Nikul for their loss. First we destroy their star, then we try we, we mess up As trying to wish, fix it, Admiral. then we destroy I'm all their asteroids. Out. I mean this really shows why in the future, in the future storylines, the Nakul are the way they are. <laughs> you know, you gotta understand why they would be upset. There are a lot of mini games in this one. Analysis complete. The wave patterns are a match. Indeed. Locate the source. I'm transmitting the coordinates to you and Captain Onvame. Head there now. Once you've arrived, we can triangulate the location of the anomaly source. Set a course to the provided coordinates. Yeah, there's a lot of like, um, hmm, like scanning little missions here, little things we have to do. I'm, I'm ready to get into some Tholian fighting. You know what I mean? Let's fight some Tholians. Ah, went past the darn thing. That's the uh, one thing about the ship. It's not incredibly maneuverable. Also, why is it appeared that I'm stuck? Oh, it's just moving very slowly. Yeah, the ship is not extremely maneuverable, but that's okay. It's very tanky. It's very good. Does a lot of damage. Happy with it. It's appropriate for this uh, 
mission. Compiling sensor data now. Aha! There you are! The multiphasic pulse waves are originating from high orbit around the planet closest to the Nakul star. Any read on what's causing Nothing it? Nothing conclusive at this time, I'm afraid. However, if I were to speculate, it's almost like something is tapping against the fabric of space-time. And that is discomforting. We need to take a look. And this is, I guess, where it's going to start. We're uh, finding out the repercussions of multidimensional travels. We're approaching the coordinates now. I trust you've spotted our uninvited guests. Okay, it's uh, the uh, the Nicole Stolians, and I love the way that looks, but I can't see it because my window's in the way. We're approaching the coordinates now. I trust you spotted our uninvited guest. Affirmative. We're reading multiple Tholian ships on sensors. One thing is certain. We have a limited amount of time to determine what they are doing here before the Nakul detect them. Considering their turbulent history, I doubt the Tholians will receive a cordial greeting from Representative Kartek or his forces. Not likely. The situation could escalate quickly. This is peculiar. The Tholians are known for their aggression in response to alien forces, and yet they haven't scanned us or gone to battle readiness. It's as if they are ignoring us. Curious. Open a channel. Let's see if they're willing to talk. I want to see what's going on. What have they captured? Like an anomaly inside of a Tholian web? Yeah. They're trying to contain the anomaly. That makes sense. Hail the vessels. Attention, Tholian forces. I am Admiral Kumarke of the LSS Raskava. You have violated Nakul space and are disrupting a critical procedure here. I'm instructing you to cease all activities and explain your presence in this system. Well, that was uh, quite demanding for, Kum for Kumarke. The border violation is inconsequential. Our work takes priority. We will continue. Do not interfere. Your continued presence is unnecessary. Not quite sure about the voice there. Shouldn't it be a little more clicky? Um, okay, so they're doing some work. The work you're doing is causing damage to the Nakul star. The loss of this star is acceptable to us. Further discussion is irrelevant. Leave now or you will be fired upon. Has too much of an accent. All right, perhaps we should find an alternative. Tholian vessels are going to battle stations. They're moving into attack formation. All right, so now we're finally going to get into some battle, but I've but which I've been waiting for, honestly. Classic Tholian diplomacy. All hands, right Battle alert. Stations. Ah. Tactical. Aim to disable, not destroy. I'm uh, not sure they'll reciprocate that courtesy. Absolutely. Yeah, I can't guarantee that I will not destroy them. Firing to disable only. Ah, I'm in a web. Crap. <laughs> yeah. I wish there was an ability to get out of webs. I mean, I know there's like a teleport ability. I don't have it, but I would like like a um, an ability that you enable, kind of like how polar pol polarize. No, I'm completely stuck here. Rear shields failing. Similar to how um, polarize hole can get you out of tractor beams. Oh no, not again. I'd like an ability that I can hit and that I like go through the Tholian web. You know, that'd be kind of cool. Target shield has I love that uh, deconstruction and what is it called? Uh, quantum destabilizing beam. That's a lot really good. Now maybe we can get some answers. Okay. Yeah, anomaly is contained. Yeah, so like I was trying to say while all that was going on. Hold on a second. Instead, they remained on station, diverting all non-essential power to their web generator systems. Even their shields are down. What are they doing here? So, you know, Polarize Hole gets you out of tractor beams, right? If you're in a tractor beam, boom, you hit that, you're out. I would love an ability like that where you hit it 
I mean, hey, tie it to polarized hole. That would be fine. And you just slide through the Tholian webs. There's some ab some ability. There is a teleport kind of thing. Some something has that where uh, some set or warp drive or something has that, and you can like teleport. I think out of them. All right. I don't know, but I think it's time we found out. Preliminary scans suggest that the Tholian flagship is creating an incredibly powerful energy web lattice around a spatial anomaly. There is no target vessel within the web. Let's perform a deeper scan. I want answers. This is most unfortunate. The source of the multiphasic waves lies within the Tholian energy lattice. Furthermore, the waves are increasing in intensity, accelerating the decay of the Nakul star's core. I don't like the sound of that. Left unchecked. This procedure the Tholians are conducting will cause a complete collapse of the stellar core, resulting in a supernova. I don't think they're causing it. I think they're trying to keep it from happening. I believe a boarding action is in order. We'll disable the Tholian web generator on board the flagship to stop the procedure. I've sent transporter coordinates. Prepare your away team for action. I shall meet you aboard the Tholian vessel. Well, this could be dangerous, Admiral. Tholians don't like uninvited guests. I'm quite aware of Tholian hospitality. As you'll recall, I've experienced it firsthand at your side, aboard Caldano's ship. You will need my expertise on this mission. I'm afraid I won't take no for an answer. Captain Envoy, wow. remain on Overwatch and report any changes to the Tholian vessel. I have to say, Kumarake is being very demanding lately, a lot more confident than she was in the uh, first missions when we met her for the first time. Okay, first of all, uh, do I even have an EV suit? You know, I don't have... <laughs> where, why don't I have an EV suit? Do I have... Let me just look real quick. You know, I wish I could access my bank right now. Crap. Uh, don't I have the ability to do that in space with something... I thought maybe I used to or did or at one point there's something you can put on to access your bank. The reason why I just want to make sure I have a good EV suit and I I mean it'll just give me the standard one but uh, oh I got the uh, combat environmental suit alright well we'll just use that then. Better than nothing. I was What I was looking for was the Solene one. I don't know if I have the Solene one. I don't think I have the Solene. Oh I don't know actually if I I'm just looking to make sure I don't have it I don't know why I don't have it I should have it on this character but I don't have it and maybe it's in my bank whatever I don't let's move on I'm gonna use the Federation combat environmental suit is what I'll be using today an acceptable risk what matters most is stopping that procedure and saving the Nakul star we'll deal with any unforeseen challenges as they present themselves agreed Okay, let's go. Beam over. I definitely am ready for ground. Uh, I'm fully equipped. This character is very good on ground. I've got a lot of uh, pet things I can enable. That's not a bad looking suit. I mean, there it is. So, that's cool. Alright, yeah, like I said, I've got, look at this, I got this, 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 uh, these uh, pets here. I've, I, I'm gonna be covered. Let's make haste. The Tholians will muster their security forces once they detect us, and combat could lead to our EV suits being compromised. If that happens, we won't last long in the hostile environment here. What's our next move? Let's begin by scanning the access terminals in this chamber. Find one with main computer access and use it to get a layout of the ship. Once we have that, we can identify the best route to the web generator system and disable it. Very well, stay alert. The Tholians could attempt to repel borders. Let's start with that console. Let me there. just give you a little preview of what I can do here with all these things activated. Uh, we'll activate that. We'll activate that. I mean, it's literally crazy. It is just so crazy when I have all of these things deployed. Look at... <laughs> this is nuts. Look at this. Look at that. I've got an army of drones. <laughs> it's so cool. And then on top of that, uh, I've got my pets too. So I got the uh, Furiadon, I got a um, fire targ thing. So yeah, I'm prepared. I don't even need a crew behind me. Hmm. That console is dedicated to life support. 
transport only. No access to the systems we're looking for. We'll have to try another. This is a medical console, keyed only to Tholian anatomy. Try another console. One of them is bound to have access to the data we require. Got it. Gather what information you can before the Tholians lock us out of the system. Okay, discuss ship layout. Interesting. The entire vessel is designed around the web generator system. Quite the unorthodox variant of this ship class, but very effective nonetheless. We need to get to that system fast. Quite so. Judging by the power readings, we can follow the spine of the craft down this corridor to where the web generators are. Unfortunately, that chamber is locked during use. What's the workaround? There's an engineering node nearby. We may be able to cut the power to the web generators from there. Once the system is down, we should be able to gain access to the generators and disable them. All right, the let's go. The engineering node is through that door and down the hall. That Watch door. Out for security. What door? The Tholians know we're here now. That door. All right, again, let's get everything out. We're going to encounter some Tholians. I hope so. I'm ready. Lego. This way. Tholian security ahead. Neutralize them so we can access the computers in this node. Enemy target on sensor. Flanking damage detected. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm using my favorite weapon that nobody loves. I guess people are tired of me using this weapon, but... We're clear. Let's run a bypass on that console Did everybody stay... Can. Everybody and everything stayed right here in the hallway. Nobody helped me at all. Yeah, I know, you guys are tired of me using this staff weapon, but... Uh, it's really the best thing I have on this character. It's the only thing I have on this character. I mean, it's maxed out to Mark 15 Epic, and it's the only, like, one that I have like that. So, it's just the best weapon to use right now for me, because that's what I have. Now, I do have another character where I have a couple of new weapons I'm trying out that I actually really do enjoy. Um, maybe I'll give you a preview sometime. Um, they're different. They're not staff weapons. So, um, yeah. Access engineering. Oh, okay, one of these. Complete bypass. Discuss Tholian web modifications. Oh, why don't they want to come in this room? Everyone wants to stay down here and not come in here. Are they stuck? Is this a bug? It's weird. It's like they can't walk over this spot. It's like they're all stuck in the ground or something. This is remarkable. The webs are somehow penetrating multiple dimensions simultaneously. They appear to be solidifying elements of space-time between these dimensions, repairing damage to the very fabric of reality. Yep, I see. How do we shut it? Why do there we want to shut it down? Spinnerets, shall we say, that emit the energy used to generate the web in space. They all need to be neutralized. Yeah, but they're trying to fix the problem. Why? Do, why do we, we want to stop disable them? Disable the web generator's primary core, and the entire system will be offline. I don't understand why we want to stop them if they're trying to fix space-time. And isn't that what we want? Unfortunately, no. Their security is blocking access. We'll need to bypass that at a nearby security node. Let's make it happen. I don't understand Wait. the motivation here. I'd like to access the astrometrics console here. Find more data on the anomaly. I don't understand the motivation. Why are we trying to stop it? They're helping. They're doing a good thing. Discuss trends. Uh, there's a lot of dialogue. Again, why, why can't the people come up here? Literally, there's like a wall they can't cross. The Tholians have compiled a detailed list of space-time anomalies throughout known space. Judging by the star dates, they've been at this for quite some time. Centuries, in fact. And the Nakul system has its share of those. Yes. This system is listed as a primary concern due to repeated temporal damage to the fabric of space-time. Time travel. The Nakul have used it many times over the years. Indeed. The Tholian distaste for time travel is well known. May explain our actions here today. 
According to log entries, this ship has been sent to prevent a trans-dimensional vortex from forming in the system. And they're about to kill a star to solve this problem unless we stop them first. Let's access this science console. Are they I really? Look out! What? Oh. <laughs> Scared me for a second. They're crawling on the walls like spiders. I wonder why everybody cannot come up here. As I was saying, let's access this Even my drones can't come up here, just a couple of them. It's weird. It's got to be a bug, right? I hope they fix it. Well, she came up here, finally. Um, it occurs to me that protomatter could be used as part of this process. Everyone's on normal, right? Will attack normally. Everyone's on normal mode, right? Yeah. I'm listening. The problem with the Tholian method is, ironically, time. The time it takes for their web generators to repair the damage to space time is allowing for the generation of the pulse waves. The more damage is repaired, the stronger the waves become. Go I on. I believe the integration of protomatter into the process could hasten the repair time considerably. To the point where the pulse wave generation would be minimal, if not eliminated entirely. The Tholians might not see it that way. Agreed. But it's the best idea I have at the moment. I'd like to study the web generators more thoroughly before we make a decision neither of us can live All right, with. let's go to the web generator node doors open. Let's proceed to the security node and unlock the doors to the web generator. And are they going to be able to come up here, or is everyone going to get stuck again? I am nomad. I am nomad. Also, this is the wrong area. <laughs> so, that yeah, they can't come up there. There is something going on where, like, the people can't go where they need to go. Also, where the heck am I going? Yes, take care of them for me. Thank you. Yeah, where am I going? Uh, this way. Okay. Got lost for a second. It's okay. <laughs> I'm supposed to go that way. Let's see if I can go this way. I like to try every door I can. The security node is on the other side of these doors. Let's All clear right. the room and get to work. Are they going to be able to come in here? Uh, no, they're not. Really weird. Really weird. I can't I, do away with them. I, I don't know why people can't follow me. All right. All there clear. You go. Everyone, yeah. gather yeah. up. Yeah. All clear. Thanks to we me. You guys did nothing. Oh, I have to talk to her, and she's down here. Yeah, they can't come up here. And where is where's Kumarke? What? How did she get here? She wasn't here a second ago. Uh, ugh. This is full of a, it's a buggy mess. I'll need some time to bypass their security system. Right, we'll cover you while you work on the security. I prefer to face as little Tholian hospitality as possible, if you don't mind. Defend Kamarike while she overrides the stuff. But my bridge officers can't come up here. <laughs> That's what... Which is really odd. Hey, one of them came in. Ah, two of them. I got two of them up here.
Anyone else? Anyone else? Some days, I wish I'd remained in the lab. Okay, discuss Security motives. Security bypass in effect. And I found something rather peculiar. Oh? It appears the Tholians have no system to denote trans-dimensional differences in cultures. While they are aware of other dimensions besides this one, they simply do not consider the denizens of those places to be any different from those here. An interesting discovery. An anomaly created by the Terran Empire is grouped in the same range as one created by the Federation. Right. Because of this, Tholian actions taken on anomalies in other dimensions could lead to trouble here and ours. Such actions could be seen as acts of war. Ah, uh, maybe. Uh, why don't we just talk to him about it? For now, we need to stop them from destroying the Nakul Star. Let's move out. Proceed with caution. There must be a reason those doors are locked when the device is in use. I am no man. I am no man. The main web generator is ahead. Get ready for a fight. Eh, we'll make it a quick one. Webmaster, hey, he creates his own HTML pages. Discuss the plan. Again, my bridge officers can't come up here, only Kumarke. We need to get to the spinneret controls in two adjacent rooms and shut them both down. Can't we just shut them down here? Doing so could overload the bypass relays and send a power surge into the vessel's warp core, resulting in a breach. When both spinnerets are deactivated, we can return here and safely disengage the primary projector. Okay, spinnerets first, then projector. Love the way this looks though. Very, oh, it goes way up there. Hold on a second, let me look back here. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, nice visual, but a buggy kind of thing here. Cause my oh my, oh no, my bridge officers cannot walk up here because they're stuck down there, which means they don't get to follow me. They can't come through here and follow me through this next door. I'm on my own, apparently. I mean, that's fine. I can be fine. Spinneret controls are ahead. Disable them before more security arrives. Oh, <laughs> there's more here. Oops, I'm dying. And I'm dead. The one thing I don't have on this character is a lot of... Uh, I, I only have the... I'm using the adapted Mako set, right? Yeah, adapted Mako set. I don't have anything else right now. I'm just using adapted Mako. It's like the first set you get in the game. <laughs> or can get in the game. Like, if you do the Borg reputation. Not the best for everything, but that's what I have. The spinneret controls are just ahead. Disable them. Ow. Ah, stop it. Stop it, stop, 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 stop. I'm captured. <laughs> I'm I'm in trouble. Help. There's other things I can use here, but oh, come on. Uh, more. 
I mean, even Kamarke is not with me now. Oh, there she is. She just pops in. That's one from spinneret nowhere. offline. Let's get to the second one. She pops in from nowhere. All right, we'll go in with a little more force this next time. Also, I need to go this way. So fair, apparently nobody's gonna follow me, so I am completely on my own. We'll enable things here, and I've got quantum thing too. That was a lot easier. <laughs> a lot easier. I assume we'll innate we'll enable. We will encounter the captain or the big boss well maybe done. at the end. Both spinnerets are offline. Let's go shut down the main web generator. Uh, the door. Ran into the door. Yeah, we might run into the captain here. At some point. Am I in the right place? I thought so. Oh, I have to discuss shutting it down first. Right. We need to disengage the primary projector from the main web generator now. And what stops uh, them from just reactivating? I'll use an encryption algorithm to lock them out of the controls. That should buy us the time we need to implement a better solution to the problem. Okay, well, let's proceed. And I imagine I'm going to be get attacked immediately. No? Oh. Hey, I did it. The Lean web generator is inoperative. We did it. We should beam back as soon as... Wait! They've raised their shields! We're trapped! Well, of course they did. Why wouldn't they? All my bridge officers are here in the cutscene. Do you think they're actually here? Your arrogance. Your insanity. You do this all. <laughs> oh, he's powered up. He's, uh... What? Where'd he go? Oh. Haha. <laughs> This is the only problem with all this stuff. It takes forever. What is that? Okay, well that hurts. He's going down pretty easy though. Know? Oh no, yeah, my bridge officers are not here again. I am by myself. Lord Kasabni. hostilities. I mean you no harm. Right at what? Who's what was his name? Lord Kasakni or something? Wanted to see what he was called. Uh, I'll play it again and figure that out or watch it back. Uh, okay, um uh, who are you? Hold your fire. I am now the ranking officer aboard this vessel, and I wish to discuss matters with you peacefully. A Tholian speaking Federation standard? Correct. Long ago, I traveled alongside the crew of the USS Enterprise, under the command of Captain James T. Kirk. While among their crew, I was given the designation Bright Eyes by my good friend Niota Uhura. Fascinating. Let's talk then, while we still can. We realize that you were trying to repair an anomaly in space-time here. But your procedure is damaging the Nakul star to critical levels. However, Admiral Kamarke believes she has a viable solution. I am prepared to hear your proposal, Admiral. But we must speak quickly. It is only a matter of time before my fellow Tholians on other vessels regroup. And you will find they are not as understanding as I am. 
Okay, let's hear what you've got. I propose a coordinated effort between our ships and yours. We can integrate a protomatter matrix into the web lattice your ship generates, increasing the speed at which the rupture is sealed. By doing so, the frequency of pulse waves generated by the repair process will be reduced to acceptable levels, ending the damage to the nearby star. Is this amenable to you? Yes, yes. I believe the Admiral's proposal will solve both problems efficiently, but we'll need to move fast. All right, let's work together and resolve the situation. Use these access codes to override the encryption and re-enable the web generator. Now, I do. Re I think this is from. He is from the episode of TOS. I remember them capturing a Tholian once. And is that the episode they're referring to? They had him in like a, um, I guess what you could call a brig for Tholian. It They had to like heat it up really hot, you know, radiation and heat and all that. I, I recall the episode. I don't recall the details of it, but I guess that somewhat sounds familiar. And that's cool. Nice callback, nice Web throwback. Generator is back online. Let's go over steps from our respective vessels. So that mission was a little buggy because your bridge officers don't follow you into the we rooms where you actually fight the, the Tholians. Nicole have detected but. the Tholian force here and have dispatched their fleet to our location. Unfortunate things could escalate quickly. Quicker than you think, unfortunately. Though I gave Representative Katek every assurance that the situation was under control here, he refused to believe me. He said the Nakul would deal with the Tholians, and if we got in their way... I get the picture. Hail the Riscava. I take it you've heard the news. Our timetable has been shortened. Bright Eyes and I will do our best to implement our plan. But we'll need time and protection. Any Tholian vessels you can restore to battle readiness will be of great assistance. We'll do what we can, Admiral. Here they come. So, so Every we're gonna... Every Tholian ship repaired will be an ally in this conflict. Oh, so Restore we're gonna... Tholian ships if possible. We need all the help we can get. Remember, so we're gonna fight the Nicole. Disable, not destroy. I'm gonna try to, well, repair everybody, but... I could just go fight. Probably be okay by myself, but... Maybe you get a accolade or something if you restore everybody. So I'm just gonna let them fight it, fight while I repair everybody real quick. Uh, did I get everyone? I don't know. Well, that's the uh, that's a battleship. Did I repair everybody? Let me just make sure I repaired everybody. Yeah, I did. Okay, it's cool. We got a nice big battle here. I like it. And they're using their distortion technique. Got everyone here on this side. Oh, something's happening. Oh no. And they oh the anomaly blew up. Huge.
Uh, that's that's not good. Are they in in another universe now? Lost. Okay. Well, that happened. Our web generator is offline, and we've suffered critical damage. If we don't seal the vortex soon, we may not get another chance. What do you mean? The vortex is destabilizing the star at an accelerated rate. If we do not seal it soon, the star will reach supernova status. Understood. Admiral Kamarke, we need a plan oh, here. Right. The protomatter matrix is stable, so we need to reinforce the Tholian web lattice as soon as possible. All right. Anything to add? I have sent the schematics for web stitching probes to you. Deploy them around the perimeter of the vortex. Each one will extrude a protomatter thread to my vessel. When all six probes are in position, we can energize the web and seal the vortex. And then a cool star? Admiral Kumarke and I believe that sealing the vortex in this manner will allow the star to regenerate back to its previous state. But we must do so soon. Well, let's get to work. We have a star to save. The stitching probes at the designated warp. I wonder if we'll see, uh... We need to energize the web soon in order to save the Nicole star. Okay. Place the stitching probes quickly. Then energize the web. I have to go to these objects, is that right? Yes. Web projector link established. Cool looking visual. I love the color of that beam. Multicolored beam. Uh, again, I could fight them, but, um... Warning. Let's do this. Web projector link established. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could I could go fight them, try to destroy them all, but I mean, I imagine everyone will be okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do this part of the mission. Web projector link established. Web projector link established. Projector link established. One more, maybe? Web projector link established. Yeah, alright, that worked. Now let's. Stitching probes are engaged. Get energize these people. the web. Oh, okay, never mind. We're going to energize it now. Anyway. All functions Protomatter Matrix, initiate. All ships withdraw to a safe distance at once. So protomatter enhanced uh a web. That was really cool, though. Nice visuals. I love the visuals. Okay, Nicole. Time to grovel. It appears I owe you an apology. My science team informs me that our star has been saved by you, the Lucari, and the Tholians. Yes, it has now. Behave. Don't do that again. Our wish for a revitalized star will have to wait until more research on our star's instability can be conducted. Though it seems we have a new wish to make today. Oh, and what wish would that be? A wish for peace between the Nakul and the Tholians. All of a sudden, today, huh? Today we saw Tholians risk their lives to preserve our sun, despite our belligerence. If they are willing to do that, Grovel, Perhaps grovel, grovel. They will be willing to broker an end to hostilities between us. Perhaps they shall. So, the one guy, I forgot his name, the uh, other Lucari ship got sucked into the vortex. Will we be seeing him in a future mission, like some alternate universe he's in? 
gates the vortex remains closed and our forces will be returning to tholian space shortly thank you for the assistance as a people we are reluctant to work alongside non-tholians especially on matters we believe to be a result of their negligence there will be many questions about today's events from our leaders i will encourage them to put aside their xenophobic tendencies and collaborate with the Alliance on the Vortex issue. Sounds like a tall order. It will not be easy, to be sure, but it is an effort I am willing to make. No matter the risk to my career or standing, I trust you will do the same when your leaders seek a solution to the problem. I will, you have my Very word. good. I shall leave you then with the words of an old friend. Live long and prosper. Nice callback. Safe journey, Captain. Ensign Ricky out. Hail Kamarke. There are days out here where the beauty, mystery, and excitement make all the work and sacrifice worthwhile. And then there are days like today. Yes, but as the saying goes, risk is your business. Risk is our business. Of course. And today we risked all, but not everyone lived to see our success. They did their duty, and a star still shines because of it. Thank we don't know they're dead. May the captain and crew of the Treloon find peace Treloon. in the light in Lucar's name. I have a feeling we'll see the Treloon again. It's in some other universe, or it's in the future, or it's in the past, somewhere. And maybe we'll see it again. We shall honor their sacrifice, Admiral, as will the Nakul. I spoke with Bright Eyes earlier, and we both agreed to share all of the data we gathered today freely to anyone willing to work on the Vortex issue regardless of their affiliation. Now is not the time to hoard information. Now is the time to act before the vortices cause irreparable damage to space-time. Agreed. Every time I hear bright eyes, although I'm reminded of uh, Planet of the Apes. Agreed. I suspect we'll be speaking again soon, Admiral. Oddly, oddy out. That's it. Return to sector space. Okay, we're done. Vintok. Well, that's almost dead. 3%. And it had a 201,000 hull strength. I think my hull strength is yeah, 141,000, almost 142,000. Not too far off from this one. Cool. Okay. Uh... Where's her ship, the Riscava? What does it have? She's at 73%. She's only at 111,000. Return to sector space. Oh, we're gonna get a cutscene. Ah, of course. The Treloon. I knew they didn't die. Come on. In another universe. That's... Status makes, report. That makes sense. We have survived a transdimensional shunt, Captain. We are operating under emergency power, sir. Warp and impulse drives are offline. Restore main power as soon as possible, Engineer. What is our current position? Unable to verify, Captain. None What's of our the current? nearby star mm. systems appear on our navigational charts. What's our current universe? Run your scan. Look for any recognizable system. Sir, incoming warp signature detected. Unidentified vessel entering the system. Any sign of hostility? Uh, it's very glowy. It is beautiful. Incoming hail, sir. Let's Who? see what our new what? friends have to say. What is it? It's glowy. Oh, come on. Don't put us on a cliffhanger like... Th oh, they did. They did. They put us on a cliffhanger. They got a glowy thing, and it's a cliffhanger. Well, who is it? What is it? Where are they? What universe? What time period? What part of the universe? So many questions. I really now, now that draws me and I am really actually excited about where the next one is going to lead because I love multidimensional time travel stuff. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it because the possibilities are endless, right? And I love it. But where are, what, how, when, and why? Starfleet Command has placed a high priority on repairing the numerous reality vortices you've discovered. Analysts are working on a list of vortices to close, 
based on their level of stability and potential danger to the systems they're located in. Admiral Kumarke will spearhead this operation, but she'll need your help once the time comes to begin the Vortex repair procedures. I'll be in touch when the Admiral is ready to go. We are going to get a Tholion, Tholion, Tholion crystalline interlacer. And I have it. Okay, let's take a quick look at the reward. Tholian Crystalline Interlacer. So it gives you an innate 22.5% Tetrion damage. It is a universal console, so I guess that means I could put it anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. And let's see. It does a physical damage over time and hold. Applies a Tholian web to target. Deals 1056 physical... Well, obviously that's not the real. I'd have to put it on and see what it is in space. But uh, it gives physical damage... For 10 seconds and then it holds the target two minute recharge that just sounds like a regular tholian web doesn't it what's different about it let's look at more details this console utilizes tholian technology enhanced tetrion damage and applies a tholian web on the target the web holds the target in place and deals damage over time but isn't that just a regular holy tholian web so why don't they just call it a tholian web Somebody let me know below, because it uh, just sounds like the regular Tholian web to me. Activating this console deals shield penetrating physical damage to a targeted foe. Affected enemy will be held and suffer heavy physical damage over time. Maybe the other Tholian, the regular Tholian web does not do damage over time, doesn't do physical damage. I'm not sure, but I think the mines do, don't they? The uh, web mines, I believe they do. And they're small Tholian webs. Um, this ability's damage is improved by ox power and particle generator's skill. Applies a Tholian web to target. Deals physical damage. It's affected by exotic particle generator, exotic damage, and uh, control expertise. Now, I don't know why it's repeated, but okay. And it is part of the set called Crystal Harmonics, so you get the Omnidirectional Interlacing Tetrion Beam from the uh, Event Reward, uh, the Enhanced EAC Shield from the Event Reward, and the Nucleating Warp Core from the Event Reward, plus this Crystalline interla Interlacer gives you a complete four-piece bonus. Now the two-piece set, or the two-piece bonus from this set is called Tholion Harmonics, you get a plus 9.1% critical chance to Tetrion weapons and a plus 3.1% critical severity to Tetrion weapons. So this will be a good uh, set to put on my Tholion, Tholion uh, Tetrion character because I do need more chance and severity on that character. Tetrion Nucleation is a 2% chance on hit with Tetrion damage creates a Tholion Warp Crystal. And we read about that in the news, what those do. It does radiation damage when the enemy collides with it. Um, and then the four piece set is it, the warp crystals will seek out the nearby foe and improve tetrion nucleation improves tetrion nucleation's chance to create a tholian warp crystal by three percent so basically you're going to get more crit chance more crit severity you're going to get uh, more chance to on hit with tetrion damage when you create the tholian crystals and if you have a four the tholian crystals will seek out the foe so that's what this set will do for you if you get the entire thing. Obviously, you're going to need to use Tetrion energy weapon damage for this for this set. But that's what it will do. So this is the Tholian Crystalline Interlacer. Um, I want to go really quick. Well, actually, I do want to summarize this mission, and we'll summarize it on Earth. ESD. But before I summarize the mission, I want to check out really quickly how that interlacer weapon compares to the Tholian web stuff already. Because it just sounds to me like a Tholian web with physical damage over time. And I thought the Tholian web already did that. I think the web mines do. But I want to double check. So I'm going to switch characters really fast to my... Um, character that has all the Tholian stuff on it and I want to take a quick look at that just to compare what the interlacer does. So uh, one second and I'll make a cut here. Okay welcome back. This is my character Dawn. She is a Tholian slash Tetrion themed build. She has everything Tholian or mostly everything Tholian. 
she's using a Tholian Ectomy tier 6 X all right so what I want to look at is the uh, web stuff here Tholian web so here is the enhanced Tholian web generator right sounds just like the interlaced web one so this one creates a web creates a Tholian web around your target and faux collision with web causes proton damage oh so that is actually different then so the Tholian web does proton damage when they encounter when they hit the edge of the web or hit the web but then it collapses the web will collapse and do proton damage also so no physical damage on the on the original enhanced Tholian web generator nope no um, physical damage so the new one is doing physical damage the old one is doing proton damage when they collide or when it collapses but it doesn't just innately do if they sit right in the middle they wouldn't wouldn't do any damage I guess until it collapses and it's proton damage so that's the difference also it gives outgoing hull healing and starship control expertise whereas the other one actually increases your tetrion damage which is nice to have okay so that's the difference and let's see what the web mines do so the Tholian or the Nukara web mine launcher deploys mines and okay it does physical damage so this one is just like the big Tholian web but it does a little Tholian web on the enemy and it also holds the enemy creates two level 75 Nukara web mines that does physical damage every 5.5 seconds for four seconds with 50% shield penetration and I think the other one did 100% shield penetration wasn't it the um, new one once armed, let's see, they'll chase after the enemy and get within three, and then and also does plus four percent critical chance as well. So, okay, so these web mines are the closest thing to the new web thing, but they are a little more limited. They only do fifty percent shield penetration, but they're still doing physical damage, just like the no, what was it, kinetic or physical that the new one's doing? Uh, anyway, these are physical. All right, I gotta switch back to the other character and see what it's doing. These are physical still closer so and the other web is proton okay I get the comparison now let me switch back to my other character and we'll uh, end this out on with a review okay I am back on Ensign Ricky and I did confirm here that the new reward is physical damage just like the web mines so there's the main difference in the reward the new Tholian crystalline interlacer acts just like a Tholian web but you gain more Tetrion damage for your Tetrion weapons and it does physical damage and it ignores shield so it's 100% shield penetration so yeah very cool very good powerful Tholian web the other Tholian web the one that's already been in the game before this one does a Tholian web also but it does proton damage instead of physical damage er, and it um, only does that if they collide with it or when it collapses so that's the difference one is physical damage one is proton damage one boosts tetrion damage to all your weapons the other one does not so those are the differences between them very minor I mean not I don't know if it's minor but just seems it seems weird to have two weapons that are the same thing a web generator but do two different things or operate in two different ways still does the same thing but has different effects attached to it just seems weird kind of seems redundant doesn't it you know what could have been cool as a mission reward instead of this would have been to make it a proto matter web lattice array which is what we use in the mission right proto matter wouldn't it be cool to have the proto matter one where it does something special with proto matter that would have been more in line with the actual theme of the mission I think so that's my only critique really on the reward here is if they had tied it to something with proto matter that would have tied into the mission a proto matter uh, web proto matter web generator that would have been thematically correct right now I don't see the connection but it is what it is that's a reward and again it's part of the set so you'll get that plus you'll do the new uh, featured event 
and get the complete set for that. And again, you want to put it on a character with Tetrion energy weapon and you've got a good set. This would also go well with a themed Tholian character like I have and I will try this on. That is my goal in the future is to do that and I will make a video about it as well when it's all complete which will take a while. So stay tuned if you want to see that. All right let's give a review of this uh, mission now. This mission the first thing I want to say about it, two negatives. I'll start with the negatives and I'll start with the positives. The two negatives from this mission, in my opinion, and you may not agree with me, the first negative is a ton of dialogue to get through. Um, if you're actually playing and listening and doing the dialogue, that makes the mission last a long time. And the dialogue is really wordy and I think maybe a little too much of it. They probably could have cut back on some of it. Now, if you're just playing this, uh, you know, quickly, you want to get through the mission, you want to play it without the dialogue, just F through everything, just F, 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 F through the dialogue, and you should get through it okay. So, the dialogue, it was a little dialogue heavy. Another thing was a lot of mini, mini missions, a little uh, mini games up front that you had to go through uh, before you got to the actual mission. A lot, you know, at that forefront of the mission. And the last negative that I'll say is that it was buggy, right? My bridge officers would not follow me into the rooms where the actual Tholians were, where I needed help to fight. They were not there. Even uh, Kumarke didn't come in till the end. She was not a help either. <laughs> so uh, you're on your own. You're on your own. So a little buggy there. I wish they would fix that, make that a little better. Um, they need to be able to come into the room. What needs to happen, and I think the way they could solve the issue, would be to teleport your bridge officers in if they get stuck. Like if your bridge officers are ever, ever stuck way behind you and they won't come in, won't do what they need to do, just have the game teleport them to the right place. Simple, simple solution. That's solved. If they are not within a certain distance from you, teleport them to that distance. <laughs> um, so those are the negatives about it. Now the positives. I loved the visuals of the mission. Really cool visuals of the star, of the beams firing inside of the Tholian ship. Love the visuals. The explosions look good. Yes, the art direction was fantastic. It looked really good. So that's a very big positive. Another positive. Love the multidimensional time travel-esque idea that it's caused these vortices to appear in space and the Tholians have been repairing them all along, we find out. And that makes sense. That falls in line with what we know of the Tholians and their capabilities. So that is really, really cool. And it makes sense that they always show up when there's disturbances like multidimensional travel, all the way back to TOS and the Defiant. You know, it makes sense that the Tholians are part of all of that. It, so it falls right in line with the story we know of Star Trek, right? It's very canon. It just works flawlessly. So I love the story direction here. Also love the cliffhanger. It makes you want to see the next mission. It makes you want to play the next mission and find out who the heck are these glowing people or whatever. Where, What universe are they in? What time are they in? What part of the universe are they in? That's a good cliffhanger. When, when you want to see what happens, that's a good cliffhanger. They made a good cliffhanger here. I like it. And um, yeah, so it actually had a lot of good parts. Um, we actually had a lot to fight with the Nakul and the Tholians. We had the Tholians and the Nakul to fight in space. So that was some really good space battle that we got to do. And I guess optionally, you could have chosen to fight the Nakul first and take them out before you deployed the satellite web things. Or you could do like I did and just deploy them and not worry about fighting. So you kind of have a choice in how you want to play there. Do you want to fight it all and clear the, clear the map before you proceed or not? And I like that kind of a choice that you get to make as a player. Like, how am I going to do this? How do I want to do this? The next time I play it, I'll probably do it the opposite way I just did. I'll probably go try to defeat everybody first, then deploy the stuff. So that's pretty cool. And I did find the space battles pretty good. And I like fighting the Nakul and the Tholians. They're pretty good enemies to fight. 
So that was a lot of fun. I also like the uh, fighting the Tholians on the ground. They definitely threw a lot at us. And especially at the end, I did figure we would get the captain or whatever he was, Admiral Tholian, and fight it. Big boss battle at the end. And that was a lot of fun too. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. I just wish I had my bridge officers there with me. Uh, so I really enjoyed this mission. Um, I thought it could have been shortened down in the dialogue and maybe some of the mini games. And that's about it. Otherwise, I really did enjoy it. And um, I w I'm curious to know what e all of everyone else thinks. I'm also curious to know where the storyline is going to go. But let me know in the comments what you thought of this mission and if you enjoyed it or not. And if you are looking forward to the next installment. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video and got some entertainment out of it and enjoyed my commentary along the way. I just give my honest opinions and thoughts on this. I still have the TFO to play, so I will be playing that next and record my first blind playthrough of it. I also have the two new patrols to play, and I will be playing them and recording that as well as separate videos. Uh, so all of this content will be coming on the channel. Stay tuned if you want to see it, and subscribe if you like what you see. But thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.